Hey there, let's jump right to it. Together with saving stills of all your grades inside of the gallery so that you could either switch between different attempts of grading or copy and paste your grades across other clips, you're also able to contain different versions of a grade within the clips themselves. When you right click on any clip, you reveal its version controls at the top of the contextual menu. At the top we have local versions and underneath that remote. They have pretty much the same controls, so I'll focus on local versions for now. At the very top, you have the ability to create new versions or to delete any versions that you're not using. So let's do that. I'm going to apply a quick grade to the clip. Cool, so I've made that and now I can right click, go into local versions and make a new one. I'm going to leave it as version 2 and say OK. And this time I am going to reset my primary wheels and I'm going to go for a completely different look. Uh, so maybe something a lot cooler. When I'm hovering over any of the versions, I get the same set of controls. I can either load the version, I can rename it or delete it if I don't want it anymore. We've also got a render disabled option, which means that if you're working with caching, then you can choose to temporarily stop caching that clip while you're working on it and then turn it back on at the end. Enabling flat pass means that when the clip is rendered out of the delivery page, the grade will not be applied to it. So it will look like the original footage. All right, cool. So we can switch between versions pretty easily by hovering over it and choosing load, but that still keeps this grade contained to this one clip. If I was to go over to the clip before it, I can right click to reveal that there is no version 2 and in fact there's no grades applied to it whatsoever because a local version treats each clip like an individual. What if you have multiple clips that share the same source footage? In that case, you might be interested in switching over to remote versions. When a clip is remote, it's no longer treated like an individual. So the first thing I'm going to do is switch this graded clip from a local version to a remote by saying use remote grades. Keep in mind though that that's going to turn off all local grades and I'm going to lose the versions that I applied to this clip. But that's okay because I can always right click and go back into one of my earlier versions and then Command C to copy and then Command V to paste. And what's happened is that instantaneously clip number 7 has picked up the same exact grade. This is because 7 and 9 both come from the same source material. This is also revealed by the fact that there's a pink icon in the bottom right hand corner telling us this. From now on, any changes that I make to either of these clips will be applied uniformly across both. So then I can start introducing different colors, and those are all reflected in its brother clip. Now the two are still slightly different because this clip did not have the same level of sunlight on it as the other one. So you could still break up the grade between them, either by right clicking and creating a new remote version. And now I can go in and lower that brightness a little bit and get it to match. And if I right click, you can see that's now version 2 and the other clip is still a remote version 1. Something else you can do to break up the clips is to right click and copy the remote grades to local. So this is the same as switching from remote to local, except it will also take the grade along with it. By the way, if you haven't watched the Master Timelines video yet, I really recommend you watch that because it describes how you can use these versions to your best advantage by starting off with remote versions across the entire timeline, applying your initial grades, and then carrying the remote grades across to the local to continue working on the project with the clips on an individual basis. Another great benefit of remote versions is that they don't just apply to the clips that share common media in the same timeline, it applies to all the timelines in a single project. This is really convenient if you've got several versions of your edit. You've got a trailer, you've got your pilot show, and you've got your short film that are all derived from the same materials. You can cut the original timeline, grade it, and then when you start cutting the shorter edits, the grading information would have already come across. Thank you very much, and until next time.